Hello. Hi, Nicole. Yes. This is Chris with St. Louis Cash Buyers. You submitted a form online saying you wanted to sell the house on Lanark Road. Yes. Yes, how are you today? I'm great, Ian. Pretty good. Did you have a few moments to talk about the house? Sure. Okay. Uh, it says just, uh, let's see here. It says it's occupied. Uh, is that with a tenant renter or that's, that's you living in there? A renter. Oh, okay. And they're, um, they're current and everything, or are they giving you a hard time? Um, I'm just tired. I'm just tired of worried about two houses, that's all. Yeah, I know that feeling, because they, uh, they can run you around, right? Yeah. Especially around the first of the month. They all get amnesia and forget it's time to pay again, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, she's like, she okay. Sometimes she run behind, but, um, taking care of that house and my house is too, too, too much. Right, right. How long has that tenant been there? Um, a year and a half. Oh, okay. So she must like the place. She stayed over a year. Yeah, she was trying to buy it, but her credit is too low. And I don't mm. want to wait. Oh, okay. And so she's, um, when is her lease going to be ending? September. Okay, September. So you want to sell it with a tenant in place? Yeah, if I can. That's possible. Uh, what are they renting it for now? Oh, seven seventy five. Seven seventy five. And it's a three bedroom, two bath. And uh yeah. all right. And uh you said you're just tired of dealing with the landlording, huh? Yeah, it's yeah. Yeah, and then I got a mortgage on it, so it's not like I'm making money. If anything, taken from me. Right, you end up losing any end. So you made updates while you've had it. Furnace, anything else you've updated since you've had it? Um, nothing I can think of right now. All right. Is there any repairs that you could think of that are still needed or updates? Nope. Only thing is a tree fell in the backyard. That's about it. It just fell in the yard, didn't hit the house, though, huh? No. Say so that would have been good. No, nope, it'll hit the house. We'd have paid it off with insurance, no. <laughs> but they said they, well, yeah, but the, my insurance said that since it did not hit a property or anything, I can't do a claims on it because it's an act of God because it was during a storm. Mm. Okay. You know they always got a way to get out of paying out something, know, right? right? <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna find a way. Say it was yeah. the wind and not the rain or anything, right? right? <laughs> anything. <laughs> wow. And then um is there a garage or a carport there for parking or what is it, just on the street? Um, no. Like a driveway. A driveway. All right. And um, let's see here. So what are you going to do if you're not able to sell it? I don't know. I'm going to let her stay in it. I'm going to keep renting it out. Yeah. Does she know you're selling it? Yes. Okay. So she's not going to be like, oh, no, I want to stay forever. Because, no. you, know, uh, <laughs> um, you know, it just depends on the situation. Sometimes we keep a tenant in place. Sometimes we, you know, put them on a different program where it is like a lease to purchase type deal. Is that what she on with you or just a regular rental? Just a regular rental. Oh, yeah. I, I feel your pain. We used to do those too, but we don't do them anymore. We do lease purchase where they're responsible for those maintenance and repairs. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. There's a whole bunch of ways to do this real estate stuff. So, you know, it goes deep. And I still don't know it all yet, but I've been learning. I say, oh, yeah, once we figure that out, that's all we do now. We don't do regular rentals anymore unless it's an apartment oh, okay. or something. Mhm. Yeah, it makes a difference, especially when, like you said, you had to replace that new furnace and everything else. That's, they can catch up real quick. Yeah. And then, um, how much do you uh, still owe on it? Fifty. Fifty-three. And what do you think the house is worth? That neighborhood, I'm not sure anymore. The last appraisal I got was like extremely high, but I don't know. 
but that was for me to refinance. Because that's but, like uh, Gla- Glasgow Village, right? Yeah. Okay. And then, um, so, so what the were you trying to... Appraisal, mm-hmm. Um, I whatever the bank would take, I don't even have to make anything, to tell you the truth. I just want to go. Right. So you just want to get out of it, huh? Right. Yeah, that, that that's the thing with some, um, let's see here. And then, so if we're able to agree on everything, how soon would you be looking to close? As soon as possible. I mean, I would at least give her a month, if she can't stay in place, give her a month or two to move. So she is willing to move with no problem, or does she want to stay? We talked about it, and she sounded like she okay. But like I said, she wanted to buy the place. So they ran her credit and everything, and, um, I think they said the middle school had to be six twenty, and Harris was like five sixty, something like that. Mhm. But I think she'll be yeah. Because she'll move with no problem. Huh? Yeah, because I don't know what the uh, I have to check and see what the rental rates are over there. That sounds about close. It's um, about eight hundred. Yeah, it's about eight hundred over there. Because right, I started right. off at 700 and I went up when she renewed her lease to oh. 775 You said, that's good, extra $75. You need that. No, but once I pay the mortgage, pay the insurance, pay the, um, then I got the insurance where they come out and fix stuff every month. I'm not making mm-hmm. anything. I mean, not right. worth the headache. You're taking all the risk with no reward. Yeah. And what are the uh, payments every month for the mortgage? Um, they're not high. But it's like it's under four hundred. It's three eighty. Oh, that's not bad. And this PITI oh. principal interest taxes and insurance. Mm mm. Just a regular. You say what? Insurance? That that, pay, that payment covers the principal interest taxes and insurance. No, just the uh, taxes and the. Uh, the mortgage, the the so insurance you, I pay separately. Oh, okay, so separate insurance. Yeah. Um. Let's see here. Um. I think. And you said, uh, how how old is the roof, or has it ever been updated or anything? Um. No, I never had a problem with the roof, and I know I haven't done. It was brand new when I bought it, so it's sixteen years old. So you got at least another fifteen years or so on it, huh? Oh, really? Is that how long they last? Cause I never even had a yeah. leak in that house. Yeah, they go twenty five to thirty years. Twenty five to thirty years generally. Oh, okay. Just depending on you know if you get you know um, like somebody good or not. Generally, that's what they say. Twenty five years or so. Are they supposed to warranty them for that long? Have you thought about listening with the real estate agent? Yeah, it's a lady I work with. Um, I tried to do a short sale before I fixed it up and rented it out. Cause I haven't lived in a house for a long time. My sister was renting it for me for years and years and years. And then she moved out and I tried to do a short sale on it. But they they didn't approve the short sale. So I'm gonna try yeah. I'm, I'm gonna try it again anyway. But um yeah, they want you to yeah. be behind or something to have a distress or some type of problem for them to approve well, a short sale. I got a distress now. I'm tired. It's either take it or leave it. That's where I'm at now. All right. Well, there's a couple of different ways we could buy your house. Um, you know, I'd have to run some numbers and run some comps to see what it's worth. Um, an all-cash deal is normally less than, you know, full market value. I don't know what the full market value is for the house. But we can buy it another way. Is basically um, we could either lease your home with the option to buy or purchase it as soon as you're ready to close, and we'll usually pay all the closing costs. Would you consider taking a monthly payment or letting us pay off that mortgage for you, take over that payment for you? So you would take over the payment and do what? How would that work? We would take, yeah, we would take over the payment. We would pay the uh, whatever that, that whatever you owe to the to the uh, mortgage company. We would take responsibility for all the maintenance and repairs of the house. Um, and you wouldn't have to worry about anything other than um, you'll get cashed out generally 
in a couple of years. Because like I said, we deal with tenant buyers where they, we put people in that can qualify for a loan. And sometimes it takes them a little bit of time, just like the lady you just had in there. But the way we do it, like I said, is uh, we set it up to where we don't have to deal with the, the nasty part of being a landlord. We take all the responsibility off your hands so you don't have to worry about the house anymore. So I would sign it over to you or? Yeah, basically you would sign over the house, but the loan would stay in your name. We would still make that payment on your behalf, and you wouldn't have to deal with the house at all anymore. And how long would that last? Uh, generally, like I said, it takes a couple of years, but I don't want to make you know make a claim that's not. I don't know the the true facts of it, but nevertheless, you would not have to worry about the house anymore. We would take over the payment of it, and you won't have to pay that three eighty plus. I have to figure out what the insurance would be. It probably would be on like another hundred dollars a month for a non owner occupied policy. Um, we would just so cover that if, payment for you. What if the person uh, moves out? Like what if they don't want to leave. So, so we still we still take responsibility of it. So we just basically step into your shoes and deal with all the problems, all the headache, any type of repairs and maintenance that's needed on the house, so that you wouldn't have to worry about any of that. And you can either um, we can either pay it directly to you, or we can pay it straight to the bank on your behalf. Either one, that's fine. Most people just have us pay it straight to the bank. We do them all the time, actually. It's it's just kind of like they used to do uh, VA loans back in the day where they do assumption loans and things like that. It's just like that, but it's not. we don't have to do all of that paperwork. You just keep the loan in your name, and we just make the payments on your behalf, the 380 a month plus the uh, whatever the insurance cost is. So you wouldn't have okay. to deal with tenants or repairs or any of that stuff. It would just, just be there. So... But that's where I'm confused at. Like, what if the tenant does choose to move out and don't want to do a lease? We'll, we'll, put, a, we'll put another one in there. We'll put another one in there because we, we want to make sure that that payment is being covered. I mean, we, like I said, we will do everything on our end as far as the maintenance and repairs to make sure it is livable and that somebody can move in there and uh, hopefully get qualified sooner, better than later. Because that's basically when we get paid off is when they when they buy it. So basically, we will mark up the price a little bit. So when they do qualify for the loan, it will make a little spread on the top, on the back end, basically whenever they cash it out, once they get qualified for a loan. But okay, in the event that somebody – Yes, we work with people to help them get qualified, get their credit together. Sometimes it's just the debt-to-income ratio. Sometimes it can be their um, time on the job. You know, there's all different types of reasons they don't qualify people. But we do everything in our power to try to get them qualified as soon as possible and uh, get you cashed out sooner rather than later. But uh, so like what I said, is this I don't want to give you. Um, this option is called a subject to. We purchased the house subject to the existing financing, and uh, we basically just make the payments on your behalf. Okay. And you, you and you're relieved of the. Again? Yeah, and you'll be relieved of the stress of it. Of you know dealing with the house, dealing with the tenant, dealing with anything. We usually get these vacant if the tenant is okay with moving. I don't see anything being wrong with it. I think it'll work out perfect for you and good for us. And uh, I think it will be a win-win situation where you don't have to deal with that house anymore. And uh, so like I said, guys, we will cover that payment. Okay, do you guys, like if she move out, you'll go in and fix it up for the next person to come in? Yeah, we prefer it to be empty. That's why I say as long as the tenant is uh, okay with moving and everything, that would be best case scenario. I mean, we could probably work with her a little bit on timing to move. It's not a big rush, but we would prefer it to be empty so we can get a brand new person in there that we can get qualified to get it cashed out sooner rather than later. Okay. Can you work with her to buy it? I don't know her situation. We probably could, but it, it's usually better to start off fresh to be realistic. I mean, we can do that, but it just normally it's, uh, I mean, we, we may be able to. I, I can't say right offhand because I don't know her full situation. It's, it's, you said what was her problem that her credit score was too low or what was it? Yeah, her credit was lower. They said something like the middle score had to be six twenty credit score. And, and what and is she up to now? Like five sixty seven or something. And do you know what it is that's stopping her to getting the uh, score up to six twenty? Is no, it old no. debt or something, or just no new positive trade lines or? I'm not sure. They just um, the person that was working with her just sent me the email. 
Right, right. Well, I mean, we may be able to do something. Like I said, it would we would uh, if we did keep her in place, we would have to put her on a new lease. It wouldn't be the same one you're on with her now. She would have to get a new one if if we kept her in place. And we could probably keep the you know the payment about the same, so so it's not a stress on her or anybody. We try to make this as as smooth as and easy as possible on everybody involved. It's just a little bit more. Um, it's not difficult, but it's a little bit harder, I guess, when you have a, a person in there already. Because, you know, they've got set in their ways and they're used to certain things to be in a certain way. So it's just better most of the time to start with a clean slate. So we can possibly keep her in there if, uh, if, that's, if that's the option. That's the best option once we look at everything. Okay, so if I do this subject to loan, I mean, agreement. I'm greedy, but I'm going to have to get off the reach for it. But, um... How long, I know you said it's usually a couple of years, but what can, for you, I mean, guys, just they going to stop paying the mortgage one day, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you won't have to pay it anymore. We take over the payment of it. We pay it every month in, until, you know. For how long? We, so either until it gets cashed out or until the life of the loan. I don't know how much longer oh, you okay. have on the loan. But, That's what I'm saying. Yeah, but we, okay. we want to get it cashed out sooner because. It, it wouldn't do us any good to hold it, you know, a long period of time unless somebody's um, going to pay some ridiculous price for it. But I don't see that happening, um, you know, in this case. Right. So, okay. we, like I said, we work with people to try to get them qualified and things. But we have programs in place to make everything work out to where it's, you know, smooth transition for you, for us, and for any tenants that are involved. But, uh, like I said, if she was to stay, she would definitely uh, have to sign a new lease. How much longer is her lease with you? Just another six months, you say? Yeah, it's up in uh, September. Oh, okay. I mean, that's because I mean, we because <clears throat> we po we possibly could just leave her in for those six months and then you know work out something from there from that point. Because six months goes by pretty quick. That goes okay. by you know in the blink of an eye, as you can tell. It's already 2019. Doesn't feel like it, does it? <laughs> I know it's the second month. It's so fast fast. Right. What's your name? My name is Chris, and I'm with St. Louis Cash Buyers. Um, and like I said, we we buy these for cash too, but I don't. I have to check and see. Uh, you know, I, I think that what you owe on it is pretty close to probably what it's worth. I can double check that. But you know, in in that case, a cash deal wouldn't make a, wouldn't make sense for us or really for anybody to pay. You know, cash full price for a house. You know what I mean? Right. It wouldn't be any gain for us to, you know, put all that money up front and, uh, you know, just hope on an appreciation at 1% a year or something like that. Okay, Chris. Uh, but yeah, we, we have number. several – yeah, yeah, so this is my number here. And we have – like I said, that's just one of the options. We have several ways we can make this happen. Um, you know, that's usually the easiest way to where you don't have to worry about anything. And um mm -hmm. We can just make something happen pretty soon. We, we would close on it. Like I said, we would pay all the closing costs. You wouldn't have to come out of pocket for any money. Um, and uh, we can close it as soon as you're ready. Once I go take a look at it and everything and make sure, you know, it's something we can deal with. But it sounds like it's a pretty good house. Yeah. Okay. Um, all righty. I can see you pictures from the inside, too, if you need me to. Because uh, when she rented it out, I'll put it. Pictures on Facebook, not Facebook. Oh, okay. If you need that, Great. can we do some research so, uh, on this loan, this type of loan? Well, not loan, but this type of option. And I'll give you a call back. Okay, and I'll send you a text message with my email address where you can send the pictures to. That'll work. Thanks, Chris. All right, thank you. Have a good one.